Welcome to Mainland, your local regional television station. I'm Graham O'Brien and some of the stories coming up in today's news. Rugby league is coming. What about fluoridation? Good news for the family cycling season and more. Local hero Simon Mannering, captain of the Vodafone Warriors, said he is looking forward to a home match after news that the Vodafone Warriors will be bringing NRL football to our South Island city for the first time next February. Trafalgar Events Director Aldo Michio said he and co-director Barry Galbraith were delighted a Nelson trial had been made possible. Trafalgar Events Director Aldo Michio said he and co-director Barry Galbraith were delighted a Nelson trial had been made possible. Mr Michio went on to say to have the Vodafone Warriors at Trafalgar Park for the first time and playing another NRL side of the Dragons quality is going to be the premium sporting event on the Nelson calendar in 2016. A pre-season match-up against St George Illawarra at Trafalgar Park for Saturday, February 20th, 5pm kickoff. As previously reported by Mainland, fluoridation seems to be a controversial issue. The Nelson Marlborough District Health Board have put considerable time and resources into promoting fluoride to Nelson's water supply. However, Mayor Rachel Rees stated the fluoride issue should be the responsibility of central government, not local bodies. I rang DHB Media Communications Officer Jane Horder for comment about the DHB's stance regarding fluoride. Yeah, I'm just, I mean, because we've got, we've got this one group saying this thing and we, I mean, it'd be really good to get two groups there and, and get some of the facts out, out in public. It, it seems, I mean, you know that from the last public meeting that you had that the people were very um, upset that they didn't really get to say anything and now we have, they've organised their own public meeting with their own speakers. I mean, I, I personally would like to see the DHB there to counter any things that are, are not facts. I mean, you need two sides of every story. Yeah. We're well aware of that, yes, and we know that they've organised the meeting. Yeah. And um, as I said, in the future, there will be um, a statement. But, 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 there won't, but, but there won't be actually anyone from the DHB attending as DHB to, to counter any non-unfactual stuff that's, that's being said, if, if it is being said. I'm unable to confirm that at this stage. Okay. Is there any chance that we can have um, a representative from DHB come on to mainland and do a do an interview about um, this issue? Um, I don't think that will be possible um, in the short term. Um, uh, we have been working with um, Vodafone and Nelson to there will be, you know, there may be opportunities, but um, in, in the short term, no, not like not between now and the weekend, certainly. Well, well, yeah, okay. Um, I, I did email at the beginning of the week. Um, Jane, yeah. I'm just, I'm just yeah, really. Sort of been no. Yeah, okay. Um, Jane, I'm just really concerned because we, we've got the DHB um, saying that, it's, you know, they're, they're saying that, that they want a fluoride in the in the water, and they and they have. They've hired someone to promote that. Yet there's no way that we will, we can actually um, talk with DHB and, and and get some statements from them. There will be opportunities in the future, Graham, um, and we will issue a, a statement. And there will be opportunities in the future. Okay. Is it just for me? It seems like the only people that don't want to talk about fluoride are the ones who are who are doing it. Well, no, um, we're not doing the fluoride. Actually, it's the Nelson City Council decision. It's not the DHB's decision. I was under the impression that the Nelson City Council said that it's a central government issue. They would like it to be a central government issue. At the moment, it is still in the realm of local authorities. But the Mayor has said it's an issue for central government. Well, that's, that's what the Mayor said, but um, at present, the way the legislation is, it's a local authority decision. So, uh, sorry, just if I can get this straight. The DHB is not pushing the fluoridation issue. The Nelson City Council is. No, 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 no. That's not what I said. Okay, sorry. Can you just clarify what I'm you said? I'm not a spokesperson for you either, Graham. I'm afraid. Okay. Um, so you know, uh, you can, you know, I'm not going to comment on that. Okay. Um, okay. But I'm just reporting the same to you. If you say that's what the council saying, and that's what we're saying. Well, that's what they are saying. That, 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 obviously, you must know. I mean, you're the media comms person. Um, that's the last statement from the mayor is that it's a central government issue. But now you're saying as DHB Media Communications that it, it is a central. It is a. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Um, the, the DHB will ha has a position on fluoride. Okay. Um, and that's yeah, that's common knowledge. Yes. And we and and people would like to know more about that that stance and and why they're taking that stance and 
and we'd like to have it in, in the public domain and, and talk about it and, and have the facts out. And that will happen in the future? Well, there's a big public meeting on the 28th at, this weekend. That, well, that would be a great time, do you not think, for the DHB to put forward or, uh, the, their side of the story? But the DHB will be issuing a statement. But not before the meeting? No. Okay. All right, Jane, thanks very much, and we'll look forward to a statement. I'm really looking forward for an interview and looking forward to um, some information about this issue. Due to the perceived lack of consultation over this issue, the Nelson Fluoride Free Community Group has organised their own public meeting this Saturday the 28th at the Stoke Memorial Hall from 3pm till 5pm. Guest speaker is Dr Stan Littress, founder of Fluoride Free Network for Dentists. All welcome to attend this free community public meeting. To kick off the magical festive season, Melrose House will have its Christmas lights switched on this year by Nelson Mayor Rachel Rees. Chrissy Small went along to Marrow's house and spoke to one of the committee members about what is coming up for us to enjoy at this beautiful historic place. And, and I, I feel a little guilty that Jude Tarr is not here right now. This was her idea on our board. We have a marvellous board society of people helping with everything going on here at Melrose. We're getting the momentum back up again. And Jude came up with the idea that we should participate in the Lights On Nelson this year at Christmas time because Melrose House is so stunning at Christmas time with the lights and all the decorations and so forth. So this Friday, which is the 27th, we are um, hosting, everyone in Nelson is invited to come and have a picnic on the grounds. Mayor Rachel Reese will be coming to officially flick on the lights at sunset, and I believe that's eight o'clock. So come, bring a picnic, and uh, just enjoy the grounds. It's your public park, you own this property, Nelson. So enjoy it and come see us turn on the lights. Wow, what an invitation that is. I hope that everyone can make sure that they've got some time in their diaries to fit that in because that's something that the, even the children will remember for Absolutely. the rest of their lives. Absolutely, yeah. So, so this year, we're, this is our first year of doing this, so next year we'll probably even have more lights. Oh, and I should also mention that the lights have been very generously donated by Mitre 10 Mega. And the fire department, thank you to you guys, they put the lights up for us. <laughs> so it's really been a community effort. With all the beautiful weather lately, many families will be dusting off their bikes ready for some family cycling fun. The Nelson Tasman Cycling Trust has been quietly working away to make cycling more accessible and safe for us all. Elizabeth Bean, one of the volunteer trustees, shared some exciting cycling news for the Nelson region. Elizabeth, thanks for coming to talk to us today. Oh, it's a pleasure. Nice to be on the show. So you're a trustee for the Nelson Tasman Cycle Trail Trust and um, you've had a very busy time lately leading up to now. Can you tell us a bit more about what's been going on in the region in the cycle trails? Okay, that I'd love to tell you that we've been busy flat out building trail for four years and as of today we've got 92 kilometres open wow. for people to ride. Now this trail that's open is all grade one, two, a little bit of grade three, it's easy riding. Um, people can get from Nelson all the way out to Kaiteri on cycle trail, or they can go from Nelson all the way out to Wakefield on cycle trail. Or you could just choose a little bit of that. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. So you're saying you can go from Nelson to Kaiteri to basically off road away from the cars. Yes, that's correct. That's just fabulous. So it, it, it links up some of the trails that we've had in Nelson for a long time, going through the railway reserve, for example. And then it, it goes out Richmond Way and past the Wyomere Estuary. So places like the Wyomere Estuary, we've built new trail and boardwalk and we take people well off the road and, and close to the estuary. So there's um, trail to ride, but for people who want to stop and look, there's, there's wildlife, there's birds. For people who want to stop and have um, something to drink, there's cafes. Um, as you get out towards Mapua, you'll go through Rabbit Island. There's even a cafe set up just outside of <laughs> Rabbit Island in a, in a paddock. Um, and then, of course, there's the ferry to get over to Mapua. Sure. And I, I, I guess for a lot of people that, 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 that might be enough, then you can come home um, or keep going all the way. Um, and how about for a visitors to the region and maybe people who don't want to cycle 92 kilometres, yeah. is, there, is there a bike rentals, is there ways to drop off and pick up at yep. different spots? Yep. Well, 
for visitors, the best thing is if you stay with your friends and relations and they'll run around after you and, 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 and make sure you get to the best starting spot <laughs> yeah. and they'll come and get you afterwards. Um, but there are also several companies that are hiring bikes and they offer a, a guided service, so they'll um, go with you if you're not sure, or they're quite happy to drop the bikes off and, and then you pick, if you like, your favourite bit to ride. So I, I guess for me, if I was doing that, I'd ask to be dropped off at Motueka, and then I'd bike Motueka al al along the coast to Kaiteri Teri, mm. have a swim, and, and come back to Motueka, or it, you could catch the boat back into Nelson, yep. or um, someone can bus pick you up. The, yeah, there's a bus, and the the guided, the companies offering guided tours are very happy to drop off bikes. If you, if you don't even want to pedal too much, there's some electric bikes yeah. which the companies have. Yeah, we did a thing yeah. on electric bikes the other week. Oh, did you? Yeah, it was nice. Yes. Um, and some long-term plans, I understand, in, uh, are the, ta the, is it the Spooners? Spooners the tunnel? tunnel. That's that our big project that we're working on at the moment. Now, the trail goes to Wakefield already and if you go beyond Wakefield and up over the Spooners range there's a, a Spooners tunnel which y you might not know about because it's currently closed to the public. It's yeah. only open a few days a year when the society has an open day and, yeah. and you, you can go through it. Our goal is to have this tunnel open definitely by this time next mm. year probably earlier, so riders will be able to get up through the tunnel over to the other side to Kahatu. And that will be really exciting because yeah. once you're at Kahatu, you're then opening the way up to that whole rural hinterland, yeah, yeah. Tapawera, and the Tapawera community is really keen, obviously, yeah, yeah. to see cyclists get through. And it's lovely them. around the back there. That Tapawera mm. drive is, is fantastic. Mm. So. Beautiful um, pastoral outlook. Yeah. So I, I think that is one of the great things about the, the trail. You start in Nelson, which is an urban experience. You can come out along the coast and you can go um, past horticulture. If you're going out Brightwater Way, there's, there's vineyards, there's farmland yeah. all the way. If, if you're going Motueka, you've got apple orchards and, well, more vineyards. More. <laughs> there's a lot to get sidetracked <laughs> by, that's for sure. There's wineries, <laughs> um, breweries, yeah. Oh, that sounds great. And mm. thanks very much for filling us in what's mm. going on. And I hope more people understand that mm. this is all ready to, to use and ready to go and, and nice and safe. Yeah, it was great for families. And I think last year we had something like 200,000 people recorded on our cycle counters. Wow. And then when we've done surveys, you know, they're all ages. There's, there's mum, there's dad, there's grandma, there's, there's people with their kids in a seat behind yeah. them. There's, there's, there's all ages. And everyone seems to be having fun, so roll on summer. That's, yeah, that's the main mm. thing. Hey, thanks very much. Oh, that's all right. It's a pleasure. Cheers. Here is a taste of the trail you can explore.
after the break we'll bring you the latest weather update and some events and happenings coming up from around the region. Edward Gibbon, the bathroom specialists, have a great range of bathroom ideas at their showroom at 23 McGlashan Ave in Richmond. Call in and check out some of the latest bathroom designs and fittings. Edward Gibbon, the bathroom plumbing and drainage supply specialists, 23 McGlashan Ave, Richmond. Are you looking for a scooter, walker, wheelchair, baby seats or push chairs? Then come in and see the Nelson Region Specialist at Mobility for You. 269 Queen Street, Richmond, opposite the library. We have a huge selection of scooters, walkers, wheelchairs and accessories, along with a free booklet guide. We also provide a breakdown service if you ever get a puncher or a flat battery. We have fully equipped service vans to rescue you. Hi, I'm Robin Jordan and I invite you to call in and see the friendly team at Mobility for You, 269 Queen Street, Richmond, opposite the library. Welcome me hearties to Smuggler's Pub and Cafe, famous for hearty meals, craft owls and a friendly service way. Sensational seasonal menus with meals all day and evening too, or sell in for a snack with special menus for young smugglers and you. Settle in for a jolly old time, relax and enjoy our award winning dining and lovely fine wine. Decked out in an old worldly way, we're open seven days. Book or come on in to 8 Muratai Street, not far from a beach walk or swim, phone 5464-08. We're the team at JCAR, right here in Nelson, 120 Hardy Street. Our shop is full of electronic items, including security alarm systems, electronic components, solar and power, electronics toys, sound systems, cables and much, much more. Jacob. 120 Hardy Street, Nelson. Why would you want to pay as much as $1,000 for a single bed mattress when you can buy a high quality locally made mattress like this for as little as $220? And a queen size mattress could cost you in excess of $3,000. But at Nelson Beds, you could have a mattress like this as low as $425. So why would you go out and spend a fortune on your child's bedroom when you can come to Nelson Beds and buy a complete single mattress and base set, a seven drawer Scotch chest, a headboard, and a three drawer bedside cabinet for as little as $979? So call and discuss our custom manufacturing options and local after sales service at Nelson Beds, Nelson's only bedding manufacturer. Nelson Tire Centre, great prices, great service. Buy your own Bryford trailer, all types, all sizes. See Colin Douglas for your tires and batteries. Stoke Senior December event, Thursday December 3rd with talented singer and pianist Frank Maria with his Christmas concert. Starts 1.30pm and cost us $3 including afternoon tea at the Stoke Seniors Hall, Main Road, Stoke. Celebrate science with Cawthron's Family Fun Day at Victory Community Centre this Sunday the 29th of November. Rocket launching, interactive exhibits and spectacular shows provided by the Science Road Show. Explosive demonstrations and talks by local scientists. On behalf of the team here at Mainland Television News, thank you for joining us and we'll bring you the latest news and events from around the region again tomorrow. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.
World War I was a defining period in our history, impacting greatly on the lives of people from the Nelson province. Memories of the First World War is an exhibition which will be displayed in a number of regional venues and is currently on at the Nelson Provincial Museum. Welcome to Smugglers Pub and Cafe, open seven days a week with free parking all day. Our lunch menus have that fat old-fashioned flavour where we treat you like treasure with the food you'll savour. We cater for children, grannies and granddads too, with special rates and privileges given to the the elderly lunchtime crew. Our staff are friendly and kind and want to see you all come back time after time. Daytime or evening, it doesn't matter. Give us a call on 546 4084 and we'll be happy to spoil ya. Yes, yes, yes. Here at Yes Shop, we love the word yes. Yes! We say yes to kitchenware. We say yes to beauty. We say yes to homewares. We say yes to fashion. We say yes to electronics. Yes to fun. Yes to Dell, yes to Apple, Happy Cool, Glad, Goldia, Hurom and thousands of other products in our store. Yes! So yes to TV shopping that's all about fun, made right here in New Zealand with Kiwi presenters like me. Yes! Say yes to the ultimate service. With dedicated presenters taking the product out of the box and showing you how it works. And what it can do for you. Say yes to our international buying power. That lets us bring you the best bundles at the best bargains. All from the comfort of your own home. 24 hours a day. So what are you waiting for? There's nothing quite like it. Come with me. Say yes to Yes Shop. Yes!